Good morning. We are Josh and Jess in the morning, and we are up today. We're on time. Why are we up today? The, sun, the sun's not even out. I know we beat the sun. We. Why we are up, we up? We, well, cause we woke, woke up praying. Up. Yeah, I woke up praying. I just felt the need to pray, and so I was up for like twenty oh, hours. It was like an hour, like three fifty, and I was like, okay, if I'm still up by four fifty. I'm going to go on a run. And so Josh was up at this point. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going on a run. And he was like, do you want me to go with you? And I was like, you don't have to. And he was like, I'm going with you. Because like the smart that, husband that he. Because that means that, yes, you should come with me. Because if you don't, that means you're sleeping while I'm running. And I would have heard about it all day. Okay. Okay. It's not true. That's very it's accurate. not very accurate. Very accurate. Your assumptions are hurtful. <laughs> and... <laughs> inaccurate but no it was great i thought it was awesome we did like two miles and now we're up we had time to spare we both got time with god beforehand so if you're in for a treat today we are we are stored up and ready grace is overflowing in our hearts right now so oh, yeah. it's gonna yeah it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a great day good yeah i um so i don't know if you've ever heard of the circle maker but mark batterson is from a church in DC. He has mobile campuses right everywhere. And, um, but he wrote this book called The Circle Maker and it changed my prayer life. So if you have concerns, if you don't know how to pray, if you don't even know where to begin, I highly recommend you picking up the book The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. It's a quick read. It's really good. And, and you'll love it. But what I wanted to do is I got this little booklet that came with it. It's 30 Devotions for Inspiring Prayer. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, it's so quick, and I just wanted to add it to our little Josh and Jess in the morning. It's just an extra Devo that we can do together. So we'll do it for the next 30 days. Um, we'll obviously do it in five-day increments because we're only with you Monday through Friday. But today's the 10th, so I thought that was an even number. Why not? Okay, so day one, get ready. It's Acts 10, verse 2. He prayed to God regularly. If you pray to God regularly, irregular things will happen on a regular basis. I'm going to repeat that. If you pray to God regularly, irregular things will happen on a regular basis. Mm. It's quick. It's super simple. Love yeah. it. But I love that because that's what we're doing. By you getting up with us every morning, Monday through Friday, and praying with us, you're doing a regular thing. This is something that any person can do on the planet but irregular things are going to happen because you're praying to a god that the god of the universe and he's going to just mm -hmm. yeah that listens yeah good morning aunt Teresa. have fun at work we'll be praying for you add any prayer requests that you have down at the bottom and we'll do that mm -hmm. um okay well how about i just start out with prayer and then we'll do the verse of the day. That sounds good. Cool. If you have any prayer requests, submit them below and we'll add them to our list. All right. Father God, thank you so much for the gift that it is to come into your presence and that we get to spend time with you, that we get to be here. And um, we have lungs that breathe and a heart that beats. And I just thank you, God, for the little things that we take for granted every single day as far as, um, I don't know, the air, the atmosphere, what we just are, are so used to on a daily basis that we don't even realize how supernatural and how miraculous your world is, God. So I just pray that we just soak it in today, that we take in your love, we receive your grace right now so that you just fill us up right now so that we won't be offended today, but we will walk upright and we will be in right standing with you, God. That's already happened with what Jesus did for us. He made us righteous, and so we can stand in confidence and know that, God, you are for us. You are not against us. You love us unconditionally, and there's nothing we can do to separate us from the love of God. And I just thank you, God, for that. So I pray that you just align our hearts. Let us be reminded on a moment-by-moment -moment basis how much you love us, how much you care about us, and that you are with us. We love you so much, God, and we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, prayer requests. Amen. We got two, right? No, I put like a couple. Okay. Yes, we have six. Oh yes, that's all. Yes, we have six. Okay. Um, I'll, we'll just kind of pray through them. We don't. Not, all of them are kind of self-explanatory except one. We have an awesome. What is uh, Mike French's 
title at church? Is it He's facilities? Facilities manager, right? Facilities manager. So his brother-in-law was badly burned yesterday, and he suffered burns on 80% of his body, and they're not sure if he's going to make it in the 20, in 24 hours. He didn't ask me for, to pray for that, but he put it on Facebook. So I just felt like if we have 24 hours to pray, we need we need to help it. We need to pray. Right. We need to intercede. So I just added it to our list. Yeah. Because that's important. That's like, God needs to intervene like now. Yeah. So we're going to lift him up. Um, and then the five other ones, we'll just pray as we go. Cool? Right. Let's go. How do you want to split it up? How about I do the first three? And you did the last three. Okay. This one, I put. Um, I really felt like we just need to pray for family members that are far from God. And these are ones that are, they can either be believers or non-believers. But I really feel like the ones that are believers and they are kind of still pulling away from God, I just felt like we should pray for any family member out there that is pulling away from God and far from Him. Okay. okay? Leah? Manners. Okay. Father God, thank you so much for Katie. I just lift her up to you, and I just pray that you give her breakthrough right now in her finances. I know that you have a will and a purpose for her life, so God, I thank you in advance for it, and I thank you, God, for the provision that you've already planned, and God, you are so amazing, and we just know that you're going to move in her finances right now. We release that in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up Elle as she needs healing from you, God, in her body. And I just pray right now that you give her the peace that is already hers, that belongs to her, God. And you just remind her that it's in her and that she can have joy while she's waiting for the healing, God. So I thank you in advance for healing her. I just pray that you touch the doctors and anybody that she goes to see today to get a second opinion on what's going on with her, God. Lord, I lift up anyone that's battling depression and anxiety, God, the stress of the world, the burdens of the world. Lord, your word says to come to you when we are weary and just overfilled with burdens and weighed down by life, God. And um, you ask us to come to you because you're going to take that. You're going to take it away from us and help us not feel that the heaviness. God, we can't get where we're going with this weight. So Lord, right now we just lift it up to you and we ask you to heal us if we're depressed. Heal us if we have anxious thoughts. Heal us if we're stressed out, worried, or whatever we're battling, God, to cause this to keep us distracted from you, God. Help us focus on you. Help us surrender it all to you, God, and help us find the joy that's in us. God, your word says that the joy of the Lord is our strength, and we will not let our joy go because you are strong in it, God. So I just declare right now, anyone that's under attack, that's feeling that pressure of the world, the spirit of perfectionism, we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is um, coming against us to keep us from focusing on you and surrendering and feeling your grace every single moment, God. So anyone that's battling with depression or anxiety, we lift them up to you and we ask for you to move and breathe in their direction in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. And Father God, I just pray right now for each family member that are just far from you, Lord. Whether it's the believers, whether it's non-believers, whoever it is, Lord, that is just struggling in their faith. Mm -hmm. I pray right now just for a supernatural just awakening in their life, Lord. I pray right now that you just touch them. I pray right now that you meet them in their need right now, in their dark place, in this time of just depression, in this time of weakness, in this time of just lostness, Lord. I just pray right now that you just meet them, that you shine the light in this dark world, in this dark room that they're in right now, Lord, and you give them a purpose. You give them freedom, and you give them a vision, a clear vision in Jesus' name. I pray right now that if it is one that once knew you and walked away, Lord, that they will gravitate back on you because they will see their life is nowhere near the joy, nowhere near the peace, nowhere near the happiness that they once had when they served you wholeheartedly, Lord. And Lord, if it is a family member, if it's a um, that just never um, accepted you, Lord, I pray right now that you make a way in their yes, life. Lord. That is just a, um, has appointments in their life that is going to bring your word into their life, Lord. That's going to instill the truth. I pray right now that you give us, each one of us that is watching, the holy boldness to just go out and to speak to our family members that are lost, that are far from you. Yes, Lord, Lord, let us not be selfish and look only into our own ways. And let us not fear and say that we can't do this, Lord, because we are given strength through you. And Father, just speak to us even in this moment. Put someone in our mind even in this moment, Lord. Let us be able to 
um, see this person so clearly now who we know that the next couple of days that we will invest our time in and this investing of time is going to bring them closer to you Lord I declare that in the name of Jesus I pray right now that you just touch Jonathan I pray right now that as he is uh, in this job hunt I pray that you just give him clear vision for his life I pray right now that the opportunity that he has in front of him of these different jobs that you give him a clear focus of where you're calling him to be where he's going to be able to succeed where it's going to be the financial breakthrough that he is praying for where it's going to help him to be able to become closer to you where he's able going to be able to become that light that you have called him to be lord i pray right now for a supernatural healing in his life i pray right now for a supernatural reshift of um, his mind even now lord that he aligns his whole heart to align to what you are wanting for him, Lord. And I just thank you for just his servant's heart even now, Lord. I thank you and I just pray right now for complete blessing over Jonathan even now. And lastly, I pray right now for Mike French, Mary's brother, that you just touch him. That you heal him from the yes, crown of his God, head to the Jesus. soles of his feet. I pray that every burn that's within his body, I pray now that he is soothed by your comfort even now, Lord. I pray now that you give the doctors wisdom. Yes, you give Jesus. them discernment in this moment how they are treating him, Lord. Lord, the doctors report that said that in the next 24 hours he might make it through. But Lord, we listen on to your report. Yes, Father, and we declare Say healing in the die. name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. I pray right now that there are going to be a supernatural breakthrough. I pray right now that there's going to be a shift in the atmosphere right now in this hotel in this hospital room that whatever darkness is there i command it to go in the name of jesus lord i pray now that he is surrounded by people of faith i pray now that he is surrounded by people that are going to lift him up lord in this moment lord and lord we trust you in this moment we trust that whatever plan that you have we know it's for the best lord and so father god i pray and we declare the victory even now lord and we declare for the peace over this family me, Lord. We serve an almighty God. We serve a God that can do the impossible, Lord. So we pray right now that you that you do the impossible, Lord. We pray right now that you bring, that through this it's going to bring glory to mm-hmm. your name, Lord. Yes. That, Lord, we said that we started this um, prayer that's saying that if we pray regularly, you will do irregular things, Lord. So, Father, we have been praying regularly, Lord. And so we pray right now that this is going to be an irregular thing that's going to happen, that you are going to bring out Mary's brother, Mike French's brother-in-law, out of this, Lord, and he's going to come with a full recovery, Lord. We declare that in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you for the healing. I thank you for the faith that is surrounding him, Lord. And I pray right now for his family to just be touched even now, Lord. And I, Father, I thank you for this time of prayer. I thank you for this time that we got to lift these needs up to you, Lord. So once again, I lift them up. I cover each one of these needs under your precious blood. I pray right now for supernatural healing. I pray right now for your peace to come over each one of that's watching right now, Lord. Your joy that is instilled within us, Lord, that we allow it to be joy. We allow it to create happiness within our lives today, Lord. I declare that today is going to be a great day. I declare that whatever we're going to do today, whatever we all have Lord, set, that if whether if it's work, whether if it's school, whatever it is today, Lord, we give it to you in Jesus' name. I pray right now for your supernatural peace to enter our minds, Lord. Let any offense that is um, playing in our minds even now, let us be able to release it in the name of Jesus. Any bitterness, any darkness, any kind of anxiety, any kind of depression, any kind of suicidal thoughts, whatever it may be, we give it to you in the name of Jesus and we command it to go in the name of Jesus, Lord. We declare that today is going to be a, a, a filled day of just peace, A day where every weight that is bogged down on us is released from us in Jesus' name. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for what you have done. And we thank you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's good. Okay. So, verse of the day day is Psalm 119, verse 93. And this is in the message version. What you say goes, God, and stays as permanent as the heavens. Your truth never goes out of fashion. Mm -hmm. It's as up to date as the earth when the sun comes up. Your word and truth are as dependable as ever. That's what you ordered. You set the earth going. If your revelation hadn't delighted me so, I would have given up when the hard times came. But I'll never forget the advice that you gave me. You saved my life with those wise words. Save me. I'm all yours. 
I look high and low for your words of wisdom. The wicked lie in ambush to destroy me, but I'm only concerned with your plans for me. I see the limits to everything human, but the horizons cannot contain your commands. Mm -hmm. There you go. So good. The Bible says that the word is a lamp at your feet. And so if you're looking for guidance today, it's not it's not a big light that's like guiding your whole um, road. It's a lamp at your feet. So every time you take a step, it's like God only gives us a 24 hour, like enough for a 24 hour span because he knows how human we are. And like, that's all we can take. And so if you, if you're looking for guidance, just know that it's step by step. Um, I don't know where it was, but I just read it in Psalm 119 as well, that. Well, like the lamp to the feet is to your, it's the step is because each step we take, we need mm -hmm. to trust in him. And we need to rely on him. We need to relinquish our control mm -hmm. and fully surrender to him to 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 take us to that next step. To put that light into each one of our steps that we take. If he lights up the whole way, then and then we're going to feel like we can do it on our own. And so um, we can't do it on our own. We're just human, and so that's why um, this verse is really powerful because we relinquish our control and we surrender our needs and our wants to align to his. Right. Did you find it? No, I didn't. But I love how it says that um, what God says goes, and mm -hmm. it's as permanent as the heavens. The heavens are never going anywhere. So that's like that's awesome. I love that it says that. And then it says that your truth never goes out of fashion. It's up to date. Your the word of God we may think has I don't know. I used to think that before I was a Christian that like it it doesn't apply to me today, you know, because it was written so long ago, but it's alive and it's living. And there's every time I open up this book, there's something else that God wants to show me. Mm -hmm. And I could read the same verse every day for 30 days and there will be something new that I get out of it every single time. So the word is up to date. It's for you now and whatever you need. I just love it. I love that it, it's, it's so wise and um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just love it. And then the words, we're still in one, Psalm 119, but it says that your testimonies are my meditation and that you, I have a better understanding and a deeper insight than all my teachers because your testimonies are my meditation. So meditate on this. Meditate on what God has done. Like if you are struggling to see what he's going to do, what has he done in your past that is helping you along? Because there's there's something in every single testimony and that just helps me remember that like god has never failed a single human in history ever and so why would he start with my problems now start failing you know mm -hmm. so meditate on the word day in and day out and it's it will be your truth it'll be your your foundation mm -hmm. it's good it's really good anything else no i covered it it's a good one I want to, um, verse 93. Okay, so I'm in the Amplified Version, and I just wanted to read it in a different version. But Psalm 90, 119, verse 93 says, I will never forget your precepts. How can I? For it is by them that you have quickened me, which has granted me life. I am yours, therefore save me. For I have sought your precepts and required them as my urgent need. Good? Mm-hmm. Right. It's good. Amen. I have seen that everything has its limits and end, matter, no matter how extensive, noble, and excellent, but your commandment is exceedingly broad and extends without limits. How I love your law. It is my med meditation all day. Yeah. All day. For every day, irregular things will happen. Right. Right. Very good. Yep. All right, cool. You have any Josh's Corners? I already did. All right, All right, well, we'll give you back the rest of your day <laughs> starting now. We're early today. Yeah, we are early. But uh, have a great day. If you have any prayer requests, please submit them below. If you're watching on replay, let me know. Private message me or just post them on the comments. And we'll pray for you tomorrow. Yes. Have the best day ever. It's Josh and Jess in the morning. Boop, 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 boop. My little jingle.